Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Mava Foodies. In today's tutorial, I want to teach you how to make samosa and spring roll wrapper and how to roll it. So, I have my recipe here. It's my bowl. So, for this tutorial, I'm going to use one cup of flour, one cup of flour, level. I have my cornstarch here. It's one cup too. I measure it with this cup, then I now pour it inside. So I'm using one cup of corn flour. The difference between corn flour and normal flour is this corn flour is whiter, while the flour is not as white as kind of cream color this is a white color so I'm mixing two of them together I have my half teaspoon of sugar so that's my half teaspoon of sugar I'm adding it inside I have my baking powder Baking powder, I'm using half teaspoon of baking powder. This is the baking powder I'm using, the rich baking powder. I have my salt. This is my salt. My salt is one quarter teaspoon. So I'm adding two of them together. So I'm going to mix it. So I'm going to mix it. Then here I have two tablespoons of flour. I want to make flour paste. I want to make the paste so that I can use it to seal it. So I have my fillings here. If you want me to show you how to make this filling, samosa and spring roll filling, just indicate in the comment section. If you want me to show you how to make it, I'm using beef, minced meat. I use minced meat. So to prepare it, so I'm going to use water to mix it. I'm going to use one and a quarter cup of water to mix it. You have to mix it very well so that there will be no lumps inside. I'm using my hand. I have to mix it to a smooth paste first. With this my mixture now, there will be no lumps inside. So this is how it is. There is no lumps inside. So I'm going to still add a little water to lighten it up.
I don't want to be too thick. It shouldn't be too thick, not too watery. Too thick. It should not be too thick and it should not be too watery. I'm still losing up a bit. As you can see, I don't need to filter it. I don't need to filter it because there's no lumps inside. So that is how to mix it perfectly well. There's no lumps inside. So that is how the consistency is. So I'm going to use my brush. This is the brush I'm going to use. So I place my brush inside. So I'm going to set it aside. So this is my flour paste that I will use in gummies. You can say this is your gum. So I set it aside. This is my non-stick pan. This is my non-stick frying spoon. So I'm going to use the boiling method. I have my water here, so I'm going to boil the water. It has to be hot. Double boiling method. So how do you know your consistency is right? You have the right consistency. After mixing it, you put your spoon inside, they bring it out. See how the spoon look like. I have the ready-made mold that is triangular shape. I have the smallest size, I have the medium size, and I have the bigger size. So if you don't want to roll it with your hand, you can place it on the mold, then add your filling to it. One teaspoon or one tablespoon fillings, and you are good to go. You can as well use your hand to mold it if you don't have the mold. So, some of them I'm going to use my mold, and others I'm going to use my hand so that I can watch how easy it is. So I'm cleaning my workplace. So I'm going to sp sprinkle some flour here. That's where I'll place my dough. So for the filling, I use minced meat, 500 grams of minced meat, then I use cabbage, I use carrot, I use pepper, I use seasoning cube, I use green pepper, I use red ball pepper, I use spring onions. In a saucepan, add two to three tablespoons of your vegetable oil or your olive oil, then add onions, add your garlic, your ginger, then add the minced meat, fry it. 
So if you want me to show you how to do it, leave a comment at the section. I will respond to it. So I'm waiting for the water to boil. So I'm going to start with the wrapper now. So this is my wrapper on fire, so this is how it is, I'm going to remove it now. So I'll remove it and now place it on the floor. So I have to smoothen it. So this is how this one look like. By the, the wrapper, then I'll fold it this way. Then I'll use this edge. I'll go on one side of it. I'll go on this side. I'm using that paste. Then I'll use the edge. I'll place it this other side. Then I'll hold it this way. Open it. I'll add one tablespoon of my filling inside. I'll place it inside. Then I'll add a little one. I use my sealer. Then I fold it this way.
finish with this one. This is how this one looks like. Then I'll go to the next one. My, this is my samosa and my spring rolls. I finished rolling them. I want to fry it now. As you can see, it's so neat and fine. So just try your own. I want to fry it now.
this is my samosa and this is my spring rolls so i want to break one now i just remove from the fire from the hot oil it's very hot or let me just manage to break one wow it's so delicious Yeah, let me break one from here but it's very hot it is so delicious mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. so please subscribe to my channel if you have not done so, it's a new channel. This is my first video. The name of my channel is Mobile Foodies. Please support me. Support my evangelism. As you can see, the spring rolls and the samosa rolls is so beautiful. Golden brown. Just test it. I wish you can test it. So I do small chops. I do for occasions, small chops, comprises of chicken, spring rolls, samosa. People were begging me to make a video on it. That's why you see me today making a video on samosa and spring roll. And I have different version of it. All of them in one video. So just try it out. Thank you so much. The name of my channel is Mobile Foodies. Please subscribe to this channel. Support me. This is my first video. Bye. I love you guys. If you want to order, just leave a comment. I'm going to reply you. Thanks.